Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and I am so excited today to share with you a dupe that I found for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. And when I say dupe, it is not 100% a dupe in all aspects of the product, but it is so close and the price difference between the two products is so great that I really felt like it was just, I, I, need, I still needed to share it. Um, so just keep that in mind, but I'll tell you the differences between the two and what is so similar about the two. Um, so the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, if you haven't heard about them, you have not been watching any YouTube videos because for the past couple weeks, these have just been blowing up on YouTube. Uh, and you know, February is when I really started hearing about these and then I just saw video after video of people reviewing them, loving them, raving about them, and I didn't pay that much attention until I started seeing a lot of reviews talking about how they give your skin this luminosity, this sheen, and don't make it look oily at all. Because when I was seeing the first reviews, I was thinking, okay, you know, I love the idea of that. I love the look of dewy skin. I love the look of that sheen. You know, when you look at somebody's face and you can kind of see their cheek shining. Um, but for me, that often looks just oily because my skin gets oily. Um, so for me, it's very hard to have that look, I mean, almost I mean, very hard to have that look without it looking oily. So I heard several people say, these give your skin a luminosity and they never look oily. So I was sold. Um, I will say they are not meant to absorb oil in any way. So I definitely use my regular setting powder with them and then use these, I just use them all over my face after I'm done with all my makeup. So there are six of them six different shades and the whole idea of them in case you don't know is that they are to give you various lighting effects there is dim light mood light luminous light uh, ethereal light there's so there's six of them and they are meant to give you just the different effects of different lighting different flattering lighting um so i went into sephora with the intent of getting dim lighting just because that seemed middle of the road they go from a slight satin finish to uh, more luminous, um, borderline frosted, um, and dim was very middle of the road. I was not looking for highlighter. I have enough highlighters. I love them. Um, I was looking for something all over to just give me some glow and make my skin look really bright and healthy. So I was going in there for dim. They didn't have it, so I was swatch swatching them all, and I ended up going with mood. Mood is kind of fourth on the list of luminosity, and dim is one step um, ahead of it. So it, Mood is the violet, like lavenderish, pinky shade. And it's supposed to give you that like pink lighting effect. And I really like this. What I do is I just kind of fluff it all over my makeup when I'm all done. And it does definitely give it that kind of cool pink tone. It blurs everything out. It looks pretty. It has a little bit of luminosity. Really pretty, really liked it. So I was actually happy I got that. But then I was still had dim on my mind. So I went back uh, like a couple weeks later and they had dim so I bought it um, and I wanted dim because I, I know a lot of people were really liking that and just were really raving about it and I'm not blown away by dim and I need to keep trying it and if you have suggestions for me please let me know um, I don't feel like may, I I was afraid of going too luminous that it would look kind of sparkly or just weird on my face or um, but I feel like maybe dim is not luminous enough or what I was looking for, I don't know. But then I also feel like throughout the day, I notice, especially on my forehead, that it kind of settles and you can see the texture of my skin and it almost looks a little scaly, which I don't like. Um, when you first put it on, it's beautiful. But so I'll have to keep playing with it. If you have any tips, let me know. But today I was at CVS and I was picking up a couple other things and I was looking at the Wet n Wild section and I saw this and I had been looking for this. And this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. And I owe all of this to Teresa. Her channel is Beauty for Every Day. And if you don't follow her, you need to. She is so much fun. Just love her. She has the best videos. So please follow her if you don't. Um, but she had this in a recent favorites video. She was loving it as a highlight. And she had heard that it was a dupe for Lorac Spotlight. So right away I was intrigued and wanted this because Lorac Spotlight is my favorite highlighter because it, it just, it gives you that sheen without shimmer. It just looks so beautiful. I use it on myself sometimes. I use it on brides when I do bridal makeup. I just love it. And I'm, I'm asked, a, not a lot, but I've been asked so many times 
for a dupe for it, a lower end dupe, and I don't have one. And so when I heard that, I, I was on a mission to pick this up. I had a harder time finding it. So I found it today when I got home and swatched it. I already, and I could just tell looking at it once I got it home and opened it, that it was not gonna be exactly like Spotlight because I could just tell it was more flat than that. It wasn't pearly looking enough in the pan. But when I started swatching it, I realized that kind of looks like my ambient powders. So I came home and now I have not tried this all day long. I just got this today. I have not tried this, like all different types of makeup conditions. But I will tell you, I have taken my makeup, my face makeup off and redone it about three different times because I just kept comparing on one side to the next, swatching them on my hands a ton of times, just comparing them. And I feel like I can very safely say that Dim Light and this Reserve Your Cabana by Wet n Wild are so similar for what I want to use them for that I can recommend them to you. Now you can already tell just by looking at them that they are a different, a different tone. This one, it's supposed, it's considered like a peachy beige. I consider this one much more neutral. I would not have called that peachy at all. This one you can see is obviously more yellow. Um, but this one is $4 and this one is $45. So yeah, <laughs> that's the biggest difference. All right, so what I did is I swatch them on naked. They, I swatch them so many different ways because they look different under different conditions. So what I did is I put foundation and topped it with setting powder on my hand because that is how I will be using them. I would never put these on naked skin on my face, so I'm not gonna do it on my hand. So I will swatch for you. Here is Reserve Your Cabana, and here is uh, Dim Light. Now you can see that they are a different tone, and I don't know if you will be able to tell, but, but uh, Dim Light is fi more finely milled and a smoother powder. It definitely is a higher quality powder. I mean, it better be for $45. Um, and on the skin, in the, the hourglass powder, they diffuse the light. They almost blur out your skin and imperfections. Um, and they're beautiful. Um, whereas on the skin, the wet and wild does not do that. It gives me the luminosity, like just like the dim light that I was looking for, but it doesn't give it that blurring effect. So that's another thing. So if you're looking for that blurring effect, the hourglass is the way to go. But for me, I was looking for that kind of just a little more glow to my skin. And I really feel like this wet and wild does it. So what I'll do is I'm not going to swatch them with my fingers because I would never apply them like that. I'm going to take this and you are, I've watched several videos, you're not supposed to buff them into your skin, you're supposed to more kind of just drag them, pull them across the skin, and there, you can spend $35 and get the hourglass brush. I wasn't into that, I just don't need another brush, I, I didn't think I needed it for that, so, I mean, maybe I do, but. So here, I'll swatch, here is the hourglass, and I'll swatch this on my hand here. I hope you can see that. And that is, you know, pretty heavy. And the point of these, it's not meant to be a swatch. You know, it's just, it's just meant to give a little bit of a reflection, but you can definitely see that. See how pretty it is. It's not sparkly. It's not shimmery. It's just gives a little bit of a reflection. So I'll clean that brush off. All right, here is Reserve Your Cabana. I'll do it on the other side. Okay. So a tiny bit of a difference in tone, but I'm telling you no one would notice because <laughs> no one is looking at your face that closely. I hope that you can see the sheen in these and how they are so similar. Reserve Your Cabana does not have sparkles, it does not have shimmer. It has such a similar finish. I mean, it is, it is so similar, it's incredible. So what I did, I used my e.l.f. complexion brushes because they are they're fluffy, but they're not like a big pow fluffy powder brush. And I kind of just drug them across my cheeks and I did half of my face. This half is the Hourglass. This half is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. And I mean, the sheen is so similar. Nobody would notice that my skin looks different on either side. But in looking at my skin, and I don't know if you will be able to notice it, this side is just a softer look. It is more blurred. It is the light is diffused, so it is beautiful, um, and I do prefer that over the Wet n Wild. But I wanted to share this with you because if you are on or the fence, or I mean, not really on the fence, but they are forty-five dollar powders. 
And so many people have been talking on them, about them on YouTube. So I know how it goes. You want them and you see them and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I need to have that. But $45 is a lot of money. And so if you're feeling like you can't justify that, then this is so worth a shot. And I would highly recommend that you find this and try it because it was $4 at CVS. I'm sure you could get it cheaper even at Walmart. Um, and while it is not of the exact same high quality caliber as the hourglass, it probably shouldn't be because this is $4 and this is $45. Um, but honestly, for what I'm using it for, I feel like this is fabulous and I can highly recommend that as a very close dupe for the Hourglass Powder and Dim. And I know that the tone is a little bit different. Maybe I don't have, I obviously only have two of these. Maybe there's another one that would be more suited. I know there is a yellower, more yellowy one that would be more suited to this, but then maybe the finish wouldn't be the same. So I don't know. So that is really all I have to say about that. Please let me know what you think. If you have the Wet n Wild Cabana, I would love to know how you're using it, how you enjoy using it, or what, what your favorite Hourglass powders are. Any tips for me for how to use them to keep them from kind of like settling in here or emphasizing my imperfections. Um, so that is it. I hope this was helpful. I hope if you were really wanting to try the, the one of the Hourglass powders but felt like you just couldn't justify that, you'll give the Wet n Wild a try and that you felt found this helpful. So have an awesome week and I will talk to you soon. See you everybody.